Hello nail friends, with you is Mariana and today video will do again an ombre, the latest trend in nail industry. Today we'll use gel polishes. Last week I did another video tutorial where I am using a gel paints. If you didn't have a chance to see it, I highly recommend it. The gel polishes what I will use today are from Egoista. All are available for purchase on our online store. Links for each color you can find down below in description. I know many of nail technicians are struggling to get a ombre clean and the first rule to have a clean and smooth ombre is to choose the color properly. And here I show what is the color water what I will use. For brushes you may surprise but I'm using a watercolor for my ombre technique. On my nails, I already did the manicure and nail feel, so they are ready for design. And my previous uh, vertical ombre design, I have received a very good question. Actually, by the way, I really love your questions. How much I will charge for design, for ombre design? And in my opinion, ombre is designed for each nail. And uh, definitely is something wow effect is special and I encourage you to charge for this. I support the option when you charge by time, but um, I'm feeling pretty confident to do ombre this for a full set takes me an extra 30 minutes and I will charge $50 for a full set of uh, ombre. Please let me know how much do you charge on your area for a full set of Ombre Technique and let's see what are the price ranges from, uh, from my city to you and how do you actually charge the nails designs. So I'm looking forward to see your comments. I'm very curious. So using my watercolor brush, I have very light pressure and here is the focus only to blend the border colors. So pretty much I do a lazy ombre. This is what I call in the first layer. I'm adding an acrylic powder and I cure in a lamp for 30 seconds in a lamp of 48 watts. So make sure the curing time can be different is depend the power of your UV LED lamp. In the second layer, I will apply the colors in the same order and I will blend. And until I do the blending, I will take the opportunity to ask you to like and subscribe the video, share with your nail friends if you like my content. And uh, this is super important for someone like me who is just starting to run uh, an YouTube channel. And on my end, I promise to share with you valuable content which will lift your nail business up. For third layer, I will draw the French. What should I say about this new trend? So I did the last week video using gel paints and today video we're using gel polishes. So my favorite is to use gel paints. Why? Just because it's twice faster. But at the same time using gel paints I can do only using two colors. Using gel polishes, these unlimited colors can be used, but it's a little bit more time consuming. Please make, let me know if you do ombre, what products do you love to use? Gel paints or gel polishes? So the first layer of the French I draw with the lighter color of the ombre. On second layer I'm applying the colors reverse then ombre and the same I blend. And one layer is more than enough. I cure everything and I seal with matte to coat.
my nail friends i appreciate each of you here on my channel don't forget to like and subscribe because next week i will share another educational video with you and definitely i'm looking forward to see your comments your suggestion if you prefer um, to see on my channel videos for specific topic have a great nail day friends Thank you.